Today I'm going to walk you through how you can transfer your WhatsApp or WhatsApp business chats from Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android without losing a single message or having to reset your iPhone. So on my right, I've got an Android phone that's currently running WhatsApp and on the left, an iPhone where we're going to transfer all of our WhatsApp chat history and data. Now, there are actually two methods you can use for this. The first one involves using a PC and the second method doesn't require a PC at all. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the PC method since it's more reliable and fast. First, open up a web browser on your computer and search for Tenorshare iCareFone WhatsApp transfer. From the search results, click on the official website, which is www.tenorshare.com. iCareFone by Tenorshare is basically a specialized tool that lets you transfer chats between Android and iPhone without having to reset your iPhone, which is honestly a huge advantage. But it's not just limited to WhatsApp. You can actually restore WhatsApp data from iCloud to Android, and even from Google Drive to iOS, which is pretty convenient. Another feature is that you can merge your old WhatsApp data with new WhatsApp data using this tool so nothing gets lost in the process. It also lets you back up your WhatsApp, WhatsApp Business, and other messaging apps directly on your computer without needing any cloud storage. And here's something interesting. It even supports GB WhatsApp, just like it does with the official WhatsApp app. So that's a quick overview of what this tool can do. Now let's go ahead and download it. The software is available for both Mac and Windows. Since I'm using a Windows PC for this tutorial, I'll be downloading the Windows version. Now, while that's downloading, here's a quick tip. If you search for iCareFone transfer to iPhone on the Play Store, you'll actually find their mobile app, which can also transfer your WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone without needing a PC at all. All right, the download is complete. Installing this is super straightforward. Just double click on the downloaded file to launch the installer and then simply click next whenever prompted. Once the installation is finished, go ahead and launch the app. After you open the app for the first time, you'll notice it's asking you to install something called Bonjour Service. This is basically needed to establish a connection between your iPhone and your Windows system. So just go ahead and allow it. You'll also see that it's requesting permission to install the necessary drivers to connect your iPhone to Windows. Again, just proceed with the installation. Perfect. Now the app is up and running, and you can see it's presenting us with several options for different social media apps, including WhatsApp, WhatsApp Business, GB WhatsApp, Kick, and Viber. For today's tutorial, we're focusing on transferring WhatsApp data. In this particular example, I'll be demonstrating with WhatsApp Business, so I'm selecting that option. But if you're transferring regular WhatsApp data, just choose that instead. The process is exactly the same for both. Okay, now we're inside the main interface and the app is prompting us to connect both the Android and iOS devices. Go ahead and connect both of your devices to your PC using USB cables. Once they're connected, the app should automatically detect your phones. Now, here's the important part you need to know. This app isn't free. You'll need to purchase a premium membership to actually complete the transfer process. You can click the buy button right within the app and it'll redirect you to their purchase page. There are several licensing options available, including monthly and yearly plans for both Mac and Windows users. Also, make sure to check out any current deals. For example, right now they're offering a 25% discount. I've included a link to this tool in both the description and the pinned comment below. Be sure to check it out and take advantage of the 25% discount they're currently offering. It's a limited time deal, so don't miss out. After you've purchased your license, head back to the tool and enter the email address and registration code that you received when you made the purchase. Great, I've successfully logged into the tool. Now let me show you how the actual transfer process works. So make sure both phones are connected to your PC via USB cables. Now, pick up your Android phone and navigate to Settings then tap on About Phone. Inside the About Phone section, you'll see something called Build Number. You need to tap on the Build Number repeatedly, about seven times. Once that's enabled, you'll be able to find Developer Options in the System section of your settings. Now open Developer Options and toggle on USB Debugging. This is crucial for the app to communicate with your Android device. After you've enabled USB debugging, iCareFone will detect both your Android phone and your iPhone. Once both devices are showing up in the tool, you need to select which one is your source phone and which is your destination phone. There's a handy swap button if you need to switch them around. 
In my case, I've selected the Android as my source phone and the iPhone as the destination. Now simply click on the transfer button to begin. The tool will display a warning letting you know that any existing WhatsApp data on your iOS device will be overwritten. Since there's no WhatsApp data on my iPhone yet, I'll just click continue. From this next screen, we need to create a fresh backup of the data that's currently in your Android WhatsApp. So pick up your Android phone, open WhatsApp, and go to settings. Then tap on chats, scroll down, and tap on chat backup. But before creating a backup, make sure to enable end-to-end -end encryption. When you're setting this up, make sure you select the 64-bit key option. Click on the 64-digit key option, and once your encryption key is displayed on the screen, take a screenshot of it. We're going to need this key in just a moment. Once your encryption key has been created and your backup is complete, set your phone aside and return to the iCare phone tool on your computer. Now click the continue button in the tool. The software will now start creating a backup from your source phone. Once that's done, you'll be presented with two verification options. You can either use the 64-bit key or an OTP code. I'd recommend choosing the key verification method because using OTP too frequently can sometimes cause errors. Now go to your phone's photo gallery and open up that screenshot of the encryption key that we took earlier. In the tool, click on the scan button. Alternatively, you can manually type in your encryption key if you prefer. All right, the scanning process is complete. Now the tool is giving you the option to select exactly what data you want to restore, such as photos, videos, messages, and more. You can pick and choose based on what you need, or just go ahead and select everything, then click Continue. Since I don't have a lot of data on this phone, the restoration process was pretty quick, but keep in mind, depending on how much data you have, this could take considerably longer. At this point, the tool is asking you to log into WhatsApp on your iPhone, which is the destination device. So pick up your iPhone and log into WhatsApp using the same phone number that you were using on your Android device. Once you've logged into WhatsApp on your iPhone, your WhatsApp session on the Android phone will automatically be logged out. After you've completed the login on your iPhone, click the login button in the iCare phone tool. Now the tool is prompting you to disable Find My Device on your iPhone. To do this, go to Settings on your iPhone, tap on your iCloud account at the top, then locate and disable the Find My Device option. Don't worry, you can turn this back on after the data transfer is complete. Once you've disabled it, click Try Again in the tool. Now the tool will automatically restart your iPhone and begin restoring all of your WhatsApp data onto it. After your iPhone restarts, open WhatsApp and go through the usual account setup process. Once that's done, you'll see that all of your chats and WhatsApp data are right there, exactly as they were before. As you can see, all of my chat history and files have been successfully transferred to my iPhone without needing to reset anything, all thanks to the iCare Phone WhatsApp transfer tool. I've included a link to this tool in both the description and the pinned comment below. Be sure to check it out and take advantage of the 25% discount they're currently offering. It's a limited time deal, so don't miss out. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more helpful tutorials like this one.